How y'all feeling tonight? I think y'all get louder than that. How y'all feeling tonight? I love it, I love it, I love it. Let's get it. So I'm going to do it again. I'm going to introduce Rebecca. So Rebecca, tell me a little bit about yourself. 30 seconds if you got a man standing in front of you. All right. Well, my name is Rebecca Kamen, a.k.a. Rebecca Inspires on Instagram. And my primary focus is empowerment and connection. I am, my background is in tech. I am a technical operations engineer, and I have my degree in cybersecurity. Um, I also am a philanthropist at heart. I love helping people, and I am a founder and chief operate, operating officer of Buckhead Networking Group as well. We have been doing this for quite some time, since January, which feels like an eternity. Um, but I care a lot about others and helping others, and my mission is to make a change and be the change that I want to see one action at a time. I love that. We love that. We love that. So. My name is Michael Fulton II. I graduated from Georgia Tech, mechanical engineering. How many engineers we got in the room? Yeah, yeah, black success. Um, I'm a stakeholder at Rice. I'm a community member at Atlanta Tech Village. I own my own software company, BizInc. I'm the founder and CEO of BizInc, and I'm the co-founder of Buckhead Networking Group. My mission, my vision, my passion is to provide our African-American youth with the tools they need to be successful, because at the end of the day, when I'm 50, I need some workers. So I need to educate those workers now, when I'm 28, to make sure they're great leaders. So when we are old, we have our youth that's taking care of us and that's leading the path. So we're building this organization today. And I'm going to say this is one thing, because I just seen it. No filming, no recording, because we will kick you out. And I just seen you, so I'm going to just be quiet real quick. <laughs> but thank you all for coming out. We're going to introduce our host. Yes. All right, now, we got to bring the CEO of Buckhead Networking Group and the CEO and founder of Madison's Tax Firm here in Atlanta. So if you need your taxes done, you have a business or just regular life, he's the bomb. Just speaking from experience. Let's bring out Johnny Wolf, your host for tonight's Pop the Balloon. Give it up for Johnny. Give it up, Give it for, it up Johnny. for Johnny. How's everybody doing? That ain't going to do it. That ain't going to do it. How's everybody doing? Listen, it's Pop the Balloon Buckhead Edition. All right, look, I got, hold on, where my guy at? Where is he? There he is. Come on stage right now. Come on, you security. Yes, sir. Y'all got two rules, three rules, four rules, maybe more. Number one, what's the first rule? Y'all tell me. So if y'all if y'all do record, I tell him personally to slam you on your head when he throw you out. And he, hey, do you got any problem with that? He don't got no problem with that. Rule number two, y'all gotta participate. We need y'all energy, okay? And he got permission to slam you on your head if you ain't participating. You got a problem with that? So let, let's do a test. I want you to see if anybody not participating. We gonna do a quick test. Buckhead edition! That girl right there, that girl right there with the big ass head, with the hair on top of her head, with the white on, kick her on up out of here. She ain't do nothing right there, that girl right there. Get her out of here right now. I'm just playing. Look, he was ready, he was coming. He was coming. All right, that's all the rules. Who ready to get this thing started? Put your hands together if y'all ready to get this thing started. Now, did we already talk about their part of the game and what they gonna do? Okay, so y'all know y'all playing too, right? Listen, I'm here to find love. You, who, right, put your hand together if you're here to find love. It's Atlanta. See, I expected that. I expected that. Y'all here to play. Play with these men out here, ladies. I'm tired of it. I'm going to give y'all one more chance. If you're here to find love, put your hands together. If you're single, put some hands together. They single, but they not looking for love. God damn it. Can I say that on YouTube? Okay. All right, listen. This is what we're doing tonight, and here's your part. Listen, if, if we, it's for the love or the clout. We got a lot of people signed up. We have 400 people signed up. If you signed up and you didn't get picked, put some hands together real quick. Don't be shy. We got another one coming. Don't you want to be on the next one? We gonna do it? Okay, I see you shy, baby. We gonna get you next time. It's okay, y'all shy. But listen, we got some people up here that's gonna be here for the clout though, right? Y'all watch Pop the Balloon on, online. 
It's some people up here just for the clout. They're going to be popping the balloon for men who are qualified. The men are going to be popping the balloon for women who are qualified. And I want y'all to have my back. If y'all see somebody who's up for just here for the clout, after every round, I'm going to say, hey, who here for the clout? And where my guy at? Because he, where drop him on the head at? <laughs> he ready. All right, guys, my name is Johnny, and I am the founder of the Buckhead Networking Group. I'm also your accountant. Follow me at Johnny, your accountant. I ain't seen nobody pull their phones out. God. <laughs> what is this? Our first popper. We're going to call them poppers, y'all, OK? Everybody say poppers. poppers. Say it like I'm saying it, poppers. poppers. Good. Y'all smart out there. All right, and then we're going to call the other group the daters. Everybody say daters. daters. All right, let's get our first popper, Gabby. <laughs> Gabby. <laughs> Excellent. I told them don't give me no fake response, so they like you. All right, next is Iman. Yes, yes, yes. Now that's natural right there. That's natural right there. I know natural when I see natural. I know natural when I see it. That there natural there. Look at him. He cheesy. Nigga. Sorry. YouTube. Sorry. Next is Stacy. Oh. Did I mention I just picked the most beautiful, classiest women in Atlanta? Did I mention that? Yes, yes. Next is Alex. Come. Yes, yes. Next is Cherry. Yes, yes, yes. I don't know what man is going to be able to choose between this, and we still got one more. Y'all want the last one? Angel. Yes, 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 yes. Now, who that was that said I ain't had no variety? God damn it, it's a variety up here. All right, ladies, let's make a little space. Excellent, excellent. Hey, shout out to our sponsors, Vanity Lounge. Everybody get up for Vanity Lounge. We got to give up louder for our sponsors because they pay for the drinks, goddamn. Damn, I couldn't even put this on without them. I need their love and support. And they're going to do the after party. Who comes to the after party after? Because I want to meet you. We're going to try that again later. <laughs> Y'all ready to meet the men? I was looking for some men that was cheering hard because I told you this ain't your show. We ain't catching them this time. All right. For the men, Diedrich. <laughs> What's going on, my brother? All right. All right. Tell us a little bit about you. What's your name, full name? Diedrich Collier, and a little bit about me, I'm from Memphis, Tennessee, born and raised, got my own business doing taxes, business taxes and wholesale real estate, age 32, um, and that's pretty much it, to be honest with you. All right, ladies, pop them. Oh, 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 all right, so off of this reaction, that's our only pop, okay. What's your name? Oh, we got cut. Oh, okay. What's your name and your age, please? Gabby, 31. And what do you do? I'm a salon owner. All right, and why did you pop your balloon? <laughs> it's just not my type. Not your type. Is it anything physical? No. No. You just not your type? I prefer tall. That's, that's fair. That's fair. He looks really well put together. I love his outfit. Nice. Thank you. I think we had one more pop down here for starters. Did you want to say anything about her? Was this your? Hold on. My bad. And is this your type? Honestly, it's a beautiful young lady. Uh, unfortunately, it's not my type. 
Okay, was, and why is that? Pretty much just, you know, wasn't my type, you know, physically, you know, everybody got their own type, and she wasn't it. Gotcha, was there anything specific? Uh, no, sir. Okay. Let's step down here, you had another one pop down here. One second, step to your left one step. Is we still good? Good. And what's your name and your age? Cherry, 42. And who the hell just, <laughs> and what do you do? Makeup artist. Excellent, and why did you pop your balloon? Um, first of all, you're a handsome guy, um, nice build. Um, great skin, but uh, I popped it just because of just the physical and um, his suit is really tight. And I don't like anybody that wears anything tighter than me. <laughs> that's that's fair. I, I'm I'm keeping a look, the crowd is keeping a lookout for the clout chasers, but I think that's fair. Okay, and did you have was it anything specific about his physical that you wanted to comment on? I just like a little more weight, um, but he's a handsome guy, nice skin, nice teeth. Yeah, well put together. Gotcha, gotcha. And is she your type? I'm rooting for young lady, I will say that. Um, I work out a lot, you know, so got to show it off sometimes. I thought you but, was uh, <laughs> a bigger dude. She but, must uh, like him a little bigger than that. You know, okay, you know, that's, you know, fair, that's fair, that's but, fair. But uh, I'm going to have to pass on it, you know, uh, because, like you said, physical attraction. Gotcha, okay, okay. So that's not your type no, either. No, okay, no. all right, let's take it back this way. 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 All right, so now, and I'm talking to the audience, he's gonna have the opportunity. We have one, two, three, four left. I need you to pop half. Let me see a popper. Pop half. Go ahead. Two of them. Oh. One more. Oh, okay, all right, all right, all right. So we're gonna start, we're gonna come on down, we're gonna figure out why we pop these balloons, okay. What's your name and your age? Stacy, 43. And what do you do? I'm in sales. In sales, and is this young man your type? I'm really open-minded if you present yourself well. Um, I don't care type, nationality, or anything like that. It's more so how you present yourself and how you treat me. Gotcha. So, yes, physically, okay. And why did you pop your balloon on Stacey? Honestly, I popped my balloon, but I, cause I can tell, you know, the, uh, the energy, you know, when it comes to like looking at someone, you know, I'm making eye contact with everybody, you know, so. Pretty much, I just didn't feel the energy, that's how. Okay, so you came up and as far as energy and eye contact, you didn't really get into any mm -hmm. of that. Okay, mm -hmm. that's cool. And let's step back a little bit. How you doing? What's your name and what's your age? Iman, 32. And what do you do? I have my own business, I specialize in yoga. Specialize in yoga, that's so nice. And do you find this man attractive? Yeah, he looks nice. Is he your type? Yes. So why did you? Pop your balloon on her? Uh, pretty much pop my balloon. Uh, like you said, like she said, just the physical attraction. You physical know? attraction? Yeah, yeah, yeah just not really attraction. It's, it's, it's different from, you know, my type, that's how. Anything specific about her that's not your type? Uh, she a beautiful woman, for sure. Okay. Uh, so it's nothing specific. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, let's, let's back it on up. So now, in this section of the game, you get to ask questions of the ladies. And based on those responses, um, you can pop or not pop. So we're going to bring, we're, we're going to go down and go ahead and ask a question. Okay. All right. Um, what's your name and age? My name is Alex. I'm 35. And what do you do? I'm a serial entrepreneur. I'm a massage therapist, an independent life insurance agent, and a startup owner. Awesome. <laughs> you got some money. <laughs> okay. And what's your question for Alex? Um, my question is for you is how do you handle difficulty when it comes to a uh, disagreement in a heated situation? <laughs> I'm more of a logical person. I don't really move off of my emotions, so I like to 
trying to put everything out on the on the floor and and hear perspectives before I make a decision about how to resolve a situation and yeah. Thank you. Thank, any follow up? No, I appreciate that. Okay. Let's keep on walking. Now, what's your name and age? Angel, and I'm 40. Okay. And what do you do? A yoga instructor. Yoga instructor. Mm. Mm. Okay. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. We don't, they know what you're thinking. <laughs> what's your question? Um, my question is for you. Um, what do you look for in a man? Someone that knows himself. That's everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, come on back. <laughs> that boy. I'm not from Atlanta. Do y'all use the word shut mouth in Atlanta? Somebody can leave you on shut mouth. Y'all use that out here? Okay, I'm from the Midwest. Never mind. Indiana, shut up. 6 and 0, IU football. So now you have the unfortunate task to pop one balloon. The unfortunate task. Come on. Ouch. Okay. Okay, hold on. We don't have a match yet. We do not have a match yet. I want you to stand right here, okay? As a matter of fact, come with me, come with me, come with me. Okay, on this, this is the, this the third round. Do you have any questions for him? This is when you get to ask him a question. Do you know God? Hey, her eye contact is serious. <laughs> I'm glad I ain't a dater. Hold on, you gotta go answer that. Okay. You gotta go answer that. This brother came back with me. <laughs> I don't want to make that. No, my bad. I got, she spooked me out, man. Go ahead. To answer your question, um, born and raised in Memphis, Tennessee, came out of the same church that I've been going to since yay high. Dad's a deacon. We go on the 8 o'clock service, 10 o'clock service, and 2 o'clock. So, you know, when you say do I know him, I, I, I definitely do. And I, I'm putting him first and foremost. Hey, give it up, because I like that moment right there. <laughs> Step on back, buddy. <laughs> Step on back here. All right. So, sorry. We're going to bring you right here. Angel, you're going to come on up. And we got to ask the million-dollar question. <laughs> Not will you marry me. Who just said that? <laughs> Alex. All right. Uh, you can either pop your balloon. Is it, a, is it a match? It's a match for me. It's a match for me. Yes. This man is fine. Do y'all hey. see him? He's fine. Yeah. Hey. You got to have confidence to come on these shows. We not tearing our brothers down. Hey, I know that's right. Ooh. So, I got to leave it in your hands. As the king, as the leader of the household, <laughs> is it a match? If it's not a match, just pop that balloon. <laughs> mm, I got one more question. Is that okay? Yeah, ask her one more I got question. one more question. Is that okay? That's okay. Okay. We gotta be sure. Yeah, you do, you do gotta, you gotta be, be sure. sure when you're you picking your girl sure. now. You do gotta be sure. And it's just a small question. How, how do you feel about your emotional intelligence? Ooh. Hold on, real quick. Did everybody hear that? I asked her how good is she with her, with her emotional intelligence. I ain't hear that again, but. There we go. Very, I have done a lot of work, and I cannot afford to have drama in my life. So I need you to be sure, 
of yourself healed and healing of yourself. I like that answer. I like that answer. I like that answer. I didn't understand it. Okay. All right. <laughs> so is it a match? <laughs> I ain't gonna, I'm not going to dignify that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't feel like I need that now. Hey! <laughs> we got a match. Now. What I didn't tell you is at the end of the show, we're gonna take the two most compatible matches and 40, Bar 42 and Vanity Lounge, the date is on them, first date's on them. Give it up for, give it up for our sponsors. You ain't even gotta worry about coming out of pocket, it's low risk. It's low risk. But he did come up here, don't do that, he, don't do that. All right, so, hey, matches, you gotta go ahead, go over and sit on the couch right there, we gonna keep y'all warm. Yeah! Right here, sir. Hold on. Okay, go ahead. Hand it to. Yes, there she go. Everybody, give it up for Alexis, production manager. Well, we didn't tell y'all, and I actually forgot to tell the ladies too. But the two moles know who they are. We got two moles in Planet. Two with the guys. Two with the ladies. They've been listening to all the chitter chat that they've been doing backstage. They know exactly who's here for clout. They know exactly who's here for love. So. This is the part of the show where we're gonna ask you, it's gonna be a very quick process. I'm just gonna put my hand over them. If they for clout, y'all let me know. But if they for love, I want y'all to cheer. So it's gonna be cheers for love and mmms for clout, okay? <laughs> All right. Don't boo my contestants, please. All right, let's get it started. Mmm, we got some mmms out there. Start on her. I don't want st to. Okay. Mmm, there's some mmms out there. Mmm. We got two mmms. This how it's gonna work. This how it's gonna work. Everybody, listen. I'm gonna call my next contestant out. Then. We it's going, one of them got to go. It was too many ooms. But if that next contestant saves them, it's an automatic match. Y'all like that angle? It was my idea. All right, we ready? Next, Dater. We have Devante. Give it up, give it up, give it up. Yes, yes, I knew they was going to like you, baby. So, what's your name and your age? Devontae Fellows. Sorry. Devontae Fellows, I'm 27 years old. And where are you from? Washington State. Washington State, and how long have you been in Atlanta? Uh, three years. Try to speak as loud as you can. In that three place. years. Okay, perfect. You ready, to, you ready to get it going? And, and yeah. What do you do? So... I actually run the family business, been around for like 35, 40 years. Um, I do marketing activities, but I specialize in social media marketing. Excellent, excellent. Ladies, give it up for Devontae. All right, so listen, we have some, we have some clout chasers up here, potential, potential clout chasers up here that's not up here looking for love. But, and the audience wants to kick them out. Am I right, audience? We gotta get somebody up out of here that ain't looking for love, right? You can save them, but if you do save them, that's your automatic match. No, the game's over. That's you. You're going to sit right on the couch, <laughs> right there. All right. So we're going to go through the two mmms. The loudest mm got to go. You can save them. <laughs> no, listen, they, the crowd, that's, they got your back. They're making sure that it's only love up here for you. All right, so. Gabby, take a step forward. Angel, take a step forward. Is that the wrong name? Sorry. Uh, Cherry, 
I'm sorry. My first time. All right, so the, the crowd believes that they're here for clout. So we're going to ask the crowd, which of them is here for clout? Where about drop him on his head? Drop him on his head. It's your time. It's your time. <laughs> Look, he ready. All right, crowd. Now it can only be one. It can only be one. Mm, the loudest. Mm, and, and you don't got to save them. Because you, your match might be back here. So it's up to you. All right. Wait, 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 wait. If you don't want her, don't speak. If you if you saving her, because I know they support you, I can tell. So we're gonna try this again. All right, take a step back. Take a step back. You safe. Now, where's his popper? I need his popper. Oh, thank you. Saver or pop it right now? No discussion. Give me that. No discussion. Oh. <laughs> Drop him on his head. We'll escort you right to the right. <laughs> and you're gone. <laughs> Just like that. Now, lovely contestants you have left. Let's get it started. So, ladies, if, you, if this is not the type, go ahead and pop him. Okay, whoa. Anybody else? All right, let's go figure out what happened. All right, what's your name? Take a step back from me. Damn. My bad, my bad. Oh. He said, hey. <laughs> you got to confront her. I to need, hold on, take a step to your left. You ladies take one step up. I don't want you to fall back. Just one. There we go. Take one step back. Just one step back. Okay. So what's your name and your age? Stacy 43. And what do you do? I'm in sales. And why did you pop your balloon? Honestly, just because he's younger, a lot younger than me. And um, I have a son that's almost his age, so it just would have been a little uncomfortable. Is this, hold on. Is this your type? No. Oh, so it's cool. Yeah. Okay. Any reason particularly why? Just not, there's no physical attraction. Okay, fair, 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 fair. Now, if anybody's, hey, listen, this ain't like them other pop the balloon show. If any of the guys or the ladies get overly disrespectful, I'm bringing, drop them on their head. We keeping it clean in here today. So I like how he did that. It's okay to say you're not attracted to somebody. All right, so that's it. We good, we good, we good, we good. All right, so we have three left. Mm -hmm. Based on physical appearance, I need you to go pop one. I need you to go pop one right now. Don't think too hard now. Mmm, it's out of here. All right, so let's go see what happened. What's your name and how old are you? Cherry, 42. And what do you do? Makeup artist. Makeup artist. And why did you pop, why did you pop her balloon? Wait, sorry, my bad. And is this, we good? Okay. Is this person your type? Yes, he is. Okay, and why, why did you pop your balloon? The physical attraction. That's no physical it. attraction? Oh, no, yeah. Enough said, let's go on back. Oh, oh, oh. You like women? Oh. Huh? You like women? There's no physical attraction. I was just asking. Okay. Yeah, you can, it's okay. Women. What, I, I'll help, I, I'll ask the right question. Was it? It's was so, it anything? Let me respond. I'll respond to was it. Was there anything specific about her physical that you did not like that made you not attracted to her? Just, just in general. I just mean, in general. that's just not some, no, somebody not I wouldn't walk up to. Something you wouldn't walk up to, yeah. not your type. Nope. That's fair. I'm not kicking him off for that. I'm not kicking yeah, him out of here for that. That's fair. All right. All right. So we got two balloons left. Now it's time to ask a question to the ladies to see, get to know them a little bit better, okay? All right. All right, so I think that we're gonna change it up, staff, talk to the staff. He, he's supposed to just ask one question and both of them answer, not two different. Two different. Okay, uh, so one question. I'm gonna keep it real simple, right? Uh, 
are you guys early risers? Okay. Are you an early riser? Mostly, yeah. What time you be getting up? See, I wake up in the middle of the night sometimes, but I always get up early. <laughs> No, I like randomly will make wake up at four, I'll go back to sleep, and then I wake up like at nine. So I usually get up early. Nine o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to ask her name. We just, I'm sorry. What's your name and your age? My name is Alex. I'm 35. And what do you do? I'm an entrepreneur. And your question again? Are you an early riser? I am not. All right, so she, she is she, nine o'clock and no. <laughs> so now you have to pop one balloon. Ooh. I'm sorry about that. Bet it up. All right, so we got, we got one left. We got one left, so I'm gonna bring you up front. Right here. Corner this way. Come on. You're right here. Okay, so we got we got one balloon left. Now it's your opportunity to ask him a question. And if you can pop your own balloon if you're not feeling this guy. All right. So first of all, what's your name and your age? Iman, 32. And what is it you do? I'm a yoga business instructor. Or yoga instructor, sorry. I have my own business. Yoga is the focus. Gotcha. All right, and what's your question for this night? So, in what ways have you committed to becoming a better version of yourself? That's a good question. Um, I do a lot of self-reflecting. Um, I've been in business since I was 19. I took over my, my family business. But um, I would say that one of the main ways that I do do that is, again, self-reflecting, analyzing, taking time to make decisions. All right, is that, you gonna keep that balloon? You got another one? So do you work out? Are you active in the gym at all? Yes, I do. All right, all right. So you keeping that balloon? All right, is it a match for you as well? No, and the reason why, because Hold I'm, on. I'm gonna explain. Pop that balloon first. Oh, okay, okay. Gotta get the dramatic. <laughs> that hurt. <laughs> all right, and, and why did you pop our balloon? So the reason why is because the whole four and nine thing I don't, I don't like that. Uh, I get up usually like at 7, 7.30, and I, can't, I, and I can't wait for you to get up at 9 to start your day. I need you to get up with me. I need you to have your things together. Hey, he like his women. Discipline, you heard me, T-Hut? All right. Well, unfortunately, there's no matches for you here today. Everybody give it up for Devante. All right, Buckhead, how we doing? Real quick, is it any clout chasers up here? They still think you, they, they, they skeptical on you. Cheer if you, okay. My bad, I forgot. See, y'all fake, y'all fake, y'all ain't even wait. You safe, you safe, you safe, you safe, you safe. What Drewski say, this my shit, you stay. All right, we ready for our poppers? All right, and for our next dater, we have Trey White, give it up. <laughs> Trey. You know it was two Trey Whites, right? Yeah. I, you the best Trey uh, White. I appreciate it. <laughs> you, the, you the Trey Wright. Yeah. That was corny. Okay. Does he have his balloon popper? He needs his popper. Hey, are y'all still with me? Everybody say popper. Y'all didn't say it. Popper. We got to have our poppers. It's time to get going. Ladies, pop them. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh. Damn. All right. <laughs> okay. No she did hers kind of loud. We're going to have to talk yeah. about that. Come on no, down here. We're going to have to talk about this. 
Okay, what's your name and your age? My name is Alex, I'm 35. And what do you do? I am an entrepreneur. <laughs> we got some fans, and you know who your match is already. Who is it? That's my guy right there. All right. Yeah. Okay, oh, okay. No, so, I mean, good. it's based off first impressions, so on the first right. one, so yeah. we don't know nothing about Buddy right now. So why did, why did you, why, is, this, is this somebody who's your type? No, she's, she's very beautiful, she's beautiful. Yeah. yeah, that's your type right there. I don't wanna, I'm, I'm a respectful person, so I don't, don't want to say nothing. You know what I mean? That ain't like, her new. She's, she's, she's she just on. Oh, hey. <laughs> I'm just messing. No, with no, you. She, she's beautiful. beautiful girl. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh. Now nah, you fine. Yeah, you do your thing. Mmm. I'm just playing. I trust yeah. her. But uh. Mm -hmm. But um. Uh, why did you pop your balloon? I'm not really big on medallion jewelry. Nah. And um, I actually prefer uh, the grooming of the hair a little more laid back. Most Maybe definitely. Cut, but just a little toned down. I got you. No problem. All right. I want you to turn to this. I want the ladies to see oh, you okay. in the stage. Give it up for this young man as we got up here. Okay. All right. All right. Hey, we got we got one more. We ain't even said the oh, man's okay. name yet. You already down to two choices. Yeah. Okay. And what's your name and your age? Cherry42. And what do you do? Makeup artist. And is this young lady someone who's your type? Uh, not exactly. <laughs> I say like not exactly, but I love your energy though. I can tell you got good, you have a beautiful smile, but it's not somebody that I would particularly go after. You wouldn't walk yeah, up to her in the real world? No, no. Okay, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. And yeah, that's all that needs to be said, right? Did you yeah. say it? Did, why did you why did you pop the balloon on this young man? Um, it was the chain. The chain. It was the chain. Definitely. A chain says a lot about a person. It really yeah. does. The jewelry tell says a lot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you good, brother? Hey, yo. It's their preference, so I, I understand. I, I do not claim to know what women yeah. be thinking, what women be knowing, what women yeah. like. I do not claim to know. I'm just happy yeah. for the little bit of women that like yeah. me, goddamn. All right. Yeah. <laughs> but good thing is, you still got two options, okay? Gotcha. And they're beautiful options, okay? Yeah, definitely. All right. So. But unfortunately, uh, so let me get into it. I'm sorry. What's your name? How old are you? And what do you do? All right, so I'll go by Trey, but my, uh, my name is Jordan White. I'm 33 years old, and also I am a business owner. I own my own bank, which explains the chain, but. So that's you know, your branding material. So you didn't go most, trick off. You went yeah, and got you a branded yeah, I, chain. I got it. For yourself I, don't, I don't do fake jewelry. I do what I can afford. Well, and I, I'm, you ain't I'm thinking about mission. impressing these ladies. No, I, I definitely am. Mm. Oh. I definitely am, but the thing is, it's I like had your back for no, a second. no, no problem. I had your no, back no, for you a good, you good. Okay, so you got two options, and straight off the bat, before asking any questions, you gotta go pop one right now. Ah, uh, they. And, all right, it's, we only got. We and, only, and again, you're beautiful. No, 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 hold on. Come right here, yeah. come right here. Oh, okay. You gotta gotcha. figure out who you popping on now. Yeah, who I'm popping All right, on. what's your name and your age? Stacy 43. And what is it you do? I'm in sales. Gotcha. Yeah. And is this man right here somebody who is your type? Because she's been popping on everybody. She's no, been waiting no, on you. No, 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 I know. Uh, yep. You said. <laughs> no, he's a handsome man. I'd be open to definitely getting it on. Gotcha. You want your balloon back? You want her back? No, that. Oh, okay. All right. But um, uh, so and and why did you pop your balloon on her? I popped it because um, just a simple fact that like I don't know if you have kids or want kids or whatnot. I honestly I don't have any kids, and the thing is I know like you may have been a little bit older than me, but you're still beautiful. I love your smile, your lips, your hair. Everything is amazing. It was just a simple fact that like me looking into the future for something that you might be like, nah, I'm good off of that. And I'm like, yo, I really want that. You know, so it can play a major part in our relationship. Yeah. Uh-huh, whoa. Because he made an assumption. <laughs> he made an assumption and I'm not having it. Yeah. Do you have children? I do, I have um, a 20, soon to be 23 year old, a 20 year old and a 10 year old. And yeah. um, I will not planning on having any more. So. Yeah, so. That's why I was like, I respect you. He hit the you nail know. on the damn head, okay. <laughs> hey, so we got one match left. Hello, okay. Come on up to the front and we're gonna go right here. 
I got it now. <laughs> you right here too, sir. Oh, uh, okay. All right. All right, we got one question left, so we're going to go ahead and go right to round three. Right. You get to ask this young man a question. What values do you look for or appreciate in a partner? I appreciate honesty. Um, honestly, that's my biggest thing. Uh, someone that can be completely honest with me, not trying to save my feelings because they don't want to hurt my feelings. Just someone that's going to always keep it real with me and just up front because that's what I do. Like I, I, I'm real big on just keeping it real in the sense of not telling you something just because I don't want you to know it. I'm telling you because I do want you to know it and I care about what it can do in the future if I don't tell you the truth now. So I just go ahead and get it out the way. So I want that same respect in return, so. Hey, any response to that answer? I like it. Yeah. I like that. Okay, so <laughs> the million dollar question. Can I go at least two for three? Is this someone who is a match for you? Yes. Yes, it is. Is it a match for you? I, I only, no, listen, listen. Oh. I, I, just, I just gotta say, say Pop it like it first. that. Oh God! Don't do that. Okay. Someone called nine one one. It has nothing to do with you, for real, honestly. It doesn't. Like, oh, you want to know why I popped it? Okay, why I popped it is because she want to know right there I, in the front with the glasses on. Like, God What is your problem? Is that your mama? Man. No. No. Yeah. She up here riding for her, boy. Yeah, she gonna beat know, you up after no, the show. She, you you yeah, popped on her. Girl. Yeah, everything, honestly. From, from head to toe, you're very beautiful, very attractive. I'll look at it as far as, again, me personally, I got a huge forehead. Like, my head is big. And I know, like, I'm just keeping it real. I want kids, and I'm like, that's pretty bad. Is this no, a this has no, Yo, can I talk a little bit? Drop him on his head, get on up here. Give it up and drop him on his head. Get him up out of here. Boo. I told y'all don't be booing my contestants. All right, y'all. Hey, that's the end of episode one. I want y'all to give these ladies a round of applause. All right, give us five minutes. I'm going to go change. We're going to do it right again. Let's do it. It's your boy, NGB Walla, and I'm here with... Marsha. The right way, the right way. So today I'm going to ask you one question. You ready? Yeah. Today's question for you is, why are you not in a relationship right now? Oh, Lord. <laughs> okay, I will say I feel like it's pretty difficult as a therapist to find a man with the kind of emotional intelligence I have. So... It's hard out here. I still have faith. I still have hope, but it's a little bit difficult because men are afraid of accountability, or some men tend to be afraid of accountability. So, yeah. There you go. <laughs> it's your boy, NGB Walla, and I'm here with... <laughs> Juliet. The right way, the right way. You having fun? You having fun? Yes, I am. You been here before? This is my first. Okay, so today's question for you is, why did you come? Um, my friend actually asked me to. Yeah, well, you got a good friend, because we lit. Yes, we are. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's your boy, NGB Walla, and I'm here with? Just be natural. Just be natural. Bet. So I got a natural question for you. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Bet. So it's two dudes. One, he's 70 years old and a billionaire, but he can only last 15 seconds. Or would you take a street dude that's hitting it right? Um, I'm currently abstinent, so that wouldn't even... You gotta pick one, though. The one that has the best relationship with God. <laughs> there you go.